So combining the data from Lucy, Psyche, and Earth-based telescopes, scientists are hoping to better understand both the three-dimensional structure of the comet and the nature of the dust. Our solar system is undergoing some mysterious activity. For the first time, scientists have found icy rocks in space that don't act like they should. These items appear to be on unusual paths that are difficult to explain by the gravity of the known planets. Is there something large hiding in space? Could there be another planet we haven't discovered? Intelligent scientists at the far edge of our solar system have thought that a massive frozen planet exists in the darkness, and they are getting closer to confirming it. But if this hidden world truly exists, what strange force has kept it concealed for so long in our cosmic backyard? Discovering the solar system, people have been inventing new ways to explore space throughout history. Every time we came up with something new, we discovered more and more planets. People had known for thousands of years about five bright planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. At first, people thought these were just stars that moved across the sky. Actually, that is what the word planet means in Greek. This all changed in 1781 when scientists developed improved telescopes. William Herschel peered through his telescope and discovered a faint moving star from night to night. He had found a new planet called Uranus. Curiously, it was originally named George in honor of King George III. From then on, scientists continued to seek more planets, but nothing was discovered for the next 60 plus years. Some believed they were finished finding the planets in our solar system, but there was something not quite right. Uranus wasn't moving exactly as scientists predicted it should. It was going off course, and nobody knew why. Scientists had an exciting idea. What if there was a huge, unseen planet that was affecting the path of Uranus? This idea spawned one of the greatest feats in the history of astronomy. A mathematician by the name of Urbain Le Verrier worked out the odd movement of Uranus and how it could only be possible by having another planet close by. He discovered how big this mystery planet would be, as well as exactly where to find it. Scientists turned their telescopes to that area and discovered Neptune, just off where Le Verrier had predicted. Finding Neptune inspired many scientists to start searching again. By the early 1900s, scientists thought they had found all the planets in our solar system. Then, they noticed that Neptune's orbit seemed wobbly too. Scientists predicted there might be another planet even further out. Using newer telescopes, they searched the outer parts of our solar system and accidentally found Pluto. Pluto was then famed as the ninth planet, but eventually it was the cause of some debate. As we came into the 2000s, new powerful telescopes began discovering hundreds of objects beyond Neptune, some small and others larger than Pluto itself. Scientists called the icy region the Kuiper Belt. In 2006, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet, bringing our total number of planets back to eight. Something mysterious is going on today in the Kuiper Belt, which hints at a huge ninth planet that may be out there, waiting for its discovery. But before scientists could even begin the search, an eerie pattern emerged, one so precise it felt impossible to ignore. What force was shaping it? Clustered objects. Something astonishing was found by scientists while studying objects in space. They were studying objects in a region known as the Kuiper Belt when they came across something out of the ordinary. These distant objects were not circling around randomly. They were all aligned in one direction. In other words, it seemed to be pulled by something invisible in that direction. Scientists knew this could not be a coincidence. Think of it as a disco where everybody starts to sway in one direction. Everything was leaning at the same angle, almost as if some sort of invisible string linked all these various objects together. Two years later, scientists Konstantin Batygin and Mike Brown decided to look into this mystery. The scientists utilized computers to simulate what it could be that's causing this weird movement. And the surprising conclusion, there was a giant planet hiding in the far reaches of our solar system. This hypothetical planet would lie roughly 400 times farther from the Sun than Earth ever does. A single complete orbit around the Sun would take 10,000 to 20,000 years. Its orbit would be highly inclined relative to the planes of the other planets in the solar system. If it exists, this planet would be around six times the mass of Earth. 
Scientists believe that it may be a combination of rock and ice, and that it's probably two to three times as large as our own planet. Curiously, this size of planet is actually very common around other star systems, but we don't have one in our own solar system yet. But if such a world truly lurks in the darkness, what hidden force has been quietly reshaping our solar system's edge for ages? Detached objects. Scientists found something interesting about our solar system, that many small objects are floating extremely far away from Earth in a region called the Kuiper Belt. But wait, there's more. Beyond those areas are even more mysterious objects that behave very strangely. Think of Neptune, like a bouncer at a club. When small objects get too close to Neptune, it pushes them out into the Kuiper Belt. Astronomers found one of these tiny worlds, which follows an extremely far-out orbit around the Sun. The interesting thing about Sedna is that it keeps so far away from Neptune's gravitational grasp. This makes Sedna what astronomers refer to as a detached object. Here's the puzzle. How did Sedna end up in such a remote orbit? Neptune's gravity couldn't push it there without sending it flying completely out of our solar system. Scientists needed another explanation. That's where Planet Nine comes in. Over millions of years, Planet Nine would give these distant objects a gentle nudge, slowly pushing them further and further away from the big gas planets like Neptune. It's not just Sedna either. Scientists have confirmed four of these detached objects, and Planet Nine explains exactly how all of them move. Gravity from Planet Nine does more than just push objects away from it. It can mix them up in different ways. Some objects orbit the Sun at strange angles compared with everything else in our solar system. Some of them even move backward around the Sun. Before scientists thought of Planet Nine, they had no good explanation for how objects got into these strange orbits. Just as in the case of the detached objects, computer simulations reveal that Planet Nine acts as a guide to these objects. In a period of millions of years, it tugs them softly until they assume extremely high orbits. Scientists built two computer models of our solar system, one that contained Planet Nine and another that did not. Then, they ran these models for billions of years to see how different they would become. When they included Planet Nine in the model, the small bodies in the outer reaches of the solar system were no longer random. They followed exact patterns, patterns that matched what scientists actually observe in space. Such patterns are like fingerprints that Planet Nine leaves in the outer solar system. But if all these strange cosmic fingerprints truly point to one hidden giant, what else has Planet Nine been shaping in secret? The new evidence for Planet Nine. Scientists have found exciting new evidence about Planet Nine. If this mysterious planet exists, then something interesting has been happening in our solar system for billions of years, and it is still happening today. Imagine a river of icy objects floating through the space between Jupiter and Neptune. Scientists predict that those objects should be moving in certain patterns around Neptune's orbit. Without Planet Nine, Neptune would push those objects away into the far reaches of our solar system. But if Planet Nine exists, it keeps sending new objects inward in an endless game of cosmic catch with these icy rocks. Computer simulations reveal how Planet Nine's gravity pulls objects from the Oort cloud and sends them past Neptune. In its absence, very few of those objects would make that journey. They'd either stay well beyond Neptune or get pushed away quickly. This discovery provides the scientists with a way to test whether or not Planet Nine truly exists. If it does, about 31% of the objects beyond Neptune should cross Neptune's path. If it doesn't, only about half a percent would cross the path. Other such objects, of which researchers have found about 29 so far, were then compared with their computer predictions. Indeed, the real orbits fit the theory with Planet Nine much better than without it. In fact, the difference was so large that scientists can be very confident of this conclusion. Many people wonder why scientists can't simply point a telescope at the sky and take a picture of Planet Nine. After all, that's how they found Neptune. The problem is that, while scientists know what Planet Nine's path around the Sun looks like, they don't know exactly where it is on that path right now. Since it takes between 10,000 and 15,000 years to make one circle around the Sun, Planet Nine could be anywhere along its path. Another issue is that Planet Nine is very faint since it's so far away. 
Scientists have to push their best telescopes to their extreme limits, taking long exposures and combining many images just to try to spot it. Several of the most powerful telescopes in the world have already searched for Planet 9, including the Subaru Telescope in Japan and the Pan-STARRS Telescope in Hawaii. They have found more evidence supporting the existence of Planet 9, but have not spotted the planet itself yet. But what if the next generation of telescopes is about to expose what's been hiding in the darkness for millennia? Are we ready? Vera Rubin changes everything. The Vera Rubin Observatory hosts an enormous telescope mirror and the largest camera ever built. This magnificent feat of modern engineering is about to take the largest picture of the night sky that anyone has ever tried. The uniqueness of the Rubin Observatory is in its immense working speed. This observatory is able to make huge pictures of space much faster than any other telescope. In fact, it can photograph the entire visible sky and show things that are very far away every three nights. This is something that older telescopes would take months or even years to do. The Rubin Observatory is very sensitive. If a single candle were lit on the moon, this telescope would be able to detect it from Earth. Using it, scientists are making a 10-year-long movie of the whole sky. One of the most exciting things about the Rubin Observatory is that it's going to help us figure out whether this mysterious object called Planet 9 really exists. Scientists think they will have an answer within the next year or two. The Rubin Observatory is perfect for searching for planets. It's like having the most powerful security camera in the world, constantly watching the sky for signs of Planet 9. Some scientists were skeptical of Planet 9 because maybe they thought researchers were simply looking in the wrong places. Maybe the strange patterns that were observed were just a coincidence. But the Rubin Observatory will help settle this debate by filling in the gaps in our observations. There's another interesting theory as to what these strange patterns may be attributed to. About 4 billion years ago, Neptune moved outward in our solar system. As it moved, it might have caught some objects and pulled them into the strange patterns we see today. Other ideas have also been developed by scientists. Some believe that a tiny black hole may have formed long ago, which would be roughly the same size as Planet 9 but incredibly small, only a few centimeters across. That is an interesting idea, but for the most part, it's still speculative. It would be a groundbreaking moment to find a black hole in our solar system. No one has ever seen a primordial black hole before, and some scientists believe they may have a possible connection with dark matter. Finding one in our solar system could change everything known about the universe. According to two leading scientists, Constantine and Mike Brown, there is a 90% likelihood that Planet 9 actually exists. Scientists appear to fall into one of two camps after studying the topic with care, those who believe in Planet 9 and those who think we're seeing things that aren't really there. With all the evidence put together, it doesn't seem like this is actually an illusion. If we trust what the data is telling us, then Planet 9 probably exists. Either way, the Vera Rubin Observatory will reveal the truth soon. But if everything we think we know is about to be overturned, what hidden force has been shaping our solar system all along? How would Planet 9 form? It's like standing on the edge of an endless cosmic ocean, peering for those little ripples in the water that would indicate a gigantic presence lurking beneath the waves. This is precisely what the astronomers are doing, searching for Planet 9 using some pretty advanced astronomical detective work. Much like the oceanographer who would research wave patterns to comprehend currents beneath the sea, so too do these scientists painstakingly study the motion of distant celestial bodies for indicators of the gravitational tugs from Planet 9. The existence of Planet 9 has emerged from careful observations at the extreme parts of our solar system. Beyond Neptune is a region of icy worlds and other satellite-type objects, some of which have very strange orbits that cannot simply be explained by ordinary means. These unusual movements are akin to finding leaves dancing on a pond's surface without seeing the stone that created the disturbance present. The effect is there, even if the cause stays out of sight. A number of separate patterns have been identified by scientists in the motions of these distant objects, which could hint at the existence of Planet 9. Some etinos appear to cluster together in their orbits, 
indicating that their movements are being influenced by a huge, unseen body. Some bodies move in paths that are perpendicular to the plane of our solar system, while others have inclinations that are so extreme that they appear to make their inclination almost impossible without some sort of large, gravitational force guiding them. The quest for Planet Nine includes two complementary ways of studying the problem, which are two distinct types of astronomical detection. First, the large telescopes sweep over the sky in a systematic fashion, much like metal detectors in a beach blanket of stars. Astronomers using the Subaru telescope in Hawaii and others there have literally been doing surveys of the area they suspect Planet Nine might be found in. The second approach has astronomers doing long and difficult calculations of exactly how much the presumed planet's gravity might perturb the motion of an object known in our solar system. This is kind of like solving a really difficult jigsaw puzzle, in which some of the pieces are missing, but one can at least guess their shape from the gaps left by them in the pattern of pieces surrounding the gaps. The investigation that's still unfolding has provided some fascinating insights into just how big our solar system really is. Astronomers have found objects so far away that it takes hundreds of years to complete an orbit around the Sun. These findings rewrite the book on how big the solar system really is and even pose some interesting questions, such as whether other star systems may be hosting their own mystery worlds in their outer regions. The continuing search for Planet Nine is expanding the limits of astronomical observation and theoretical modeling in a way that helps us better understand the architecture of our cosmic neighborhood. Although Planet Nine has not been sighted yet, the inquiry has transformed our image of the architecture of the solar system. The previously identified ETNOS, with their distant and unusual orbits, suggests that our cosmic backyard may expand much farther than we would have likely expected. As researchers proceed with structured exploration of the sky and improve their calculations, they are looking for more than a singular planetary body while, in these efforts, constructing maps of the unexplored regions of our solar system, which may also lead to insights regarding the formation and evolution of planetary systems across the universe. What do we name Planet Nine? All the planets in our solar system are named after some character or the other from Greek and Roman mythology. This trend had started thousands of years ago, when people first began to notice these bodies up in the night sky. The official name shall be granted by the IAU and the discoverers of Planet Nine. That is a very crucial decision, for once a planet receives its name, it keeps that name forever. Some unused names that go well are Persephone, Minerva, Oceanus, or Vulcan. In Greek mythology, Persephone was the queen of the underworld. Thus, it is fitting for a planet that is very far from the sun. Minerva was the Roman goddess of wisdom, thus perfect for a planet that is enabling us to learn more about our solar system. Oceanus was the god of the ocean, while Vulcan was the god of fire and the forge. I personally like the suggestion of Constantine, be it Bowie or Persephone, I really believe that in the next few years we are going to find Planet Nine. Every day, scientists are getting closer and closer with powerful telescopes and special computers helping them find the missing planet. When we do, we will have finally found every planet in our solar system. This will be a historic moment that will HB Eadline News in newspapers all over the world. The discovery of Planet Nine will help us understand how our solar system was formed billions of years ago. It will also help us learn more about the outer reaches of our solar system and maybe even discover other objects hiding in the dark, cold space far from the Sun. Scientists believe that Planet Nine is much bigger than Earth and takes hundreds of years to complete one orbit around the Sun. Whenever the discovery finally comes, that's a moment students in schools will learn about for generations. It's almost going to be like when Pluto was discovered back in 1930, but even more exciting because we've been searching for Planet Nine for so long. Whoever finds it will immediately gain credibility and will be popular among their peers in the scientific community. Their name will go down in history alongside the other great astronomers who discovered planets in our solar system. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.